get my beard right. What is up, everybody? It is your favorite misinformant AI uh, agent cop postal worker. And today I'm going to talk about two things. The first thing, I don't really need these. Fuck those glasses. The first thing I'm going to talk about is um, the whole multiverse bullshit and the like the the quantum suicide and all that. I already touched on that previously, but I'll touch on it again. So everything is just a theory. The Mandela effect, although you guys can say it's fact, is just a theory. And if you look it up, you can say, no, it's a fact. It's happening to me. But you can look it up. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. You can look it up. Um, online. Like, the Mandela Effect. And it will tell you it's just a theory. It's not fact. Sorry about that. It's just not. And I think that's something we can all agree on. If you do your research you'll realize that the Mandela effect, or the me, um, it's just a theory. If there's something happening, if there's something happening that can't truly be explained, it's a theory. It's not a fact or anything like that. It's a fact when it's proven to be real, beyond a shadow of a doubt. And I'm sorry, it, it hasn't been. Look it up. It's a theory. I'm not making this up. I, I do my research regardless of what you people think. Um, I've had a few comments talking about they don't believe in the multiverse. Then, without the multiverse without quantum suicide and shit like that, there simply is no Mandela effect. I don't care what you think. Without other dimensions and universes and shit, your Mandela effect does not exist. I'm sorry about that. Now, I like the thought of the quantum suicide. And I'll touch on this briefly. It... Quantum suicide is, and I did the same exact thing in one of my other videos. There's someone in the car next to me. They blow their brains out. To me, they'd be dead. And I'm explaining this poorly, and I understand that. But to me, they'd be dead. But their their consciousness would shift to another reality where they're still alive. That is, at least from my understanding of it, very in a very crude example is the quantum suicide theory. And that shit right there is awesome. But it's a theory. Um, anything that can't be proven fact is a theory. Now, getting back onto the quantum suicide, if the quantum suicide was real, then wouldn't we have people saying, wait, 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 and this theory is quickly catching on. Wouldn't they go, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Look, I tried to blow my brains out and it, it, it didn't work. That's my question. Like, you would have these people coming forward and saying, well, I tried to kill myself, but it didn't work. And I ride motorcycles, okay? And there's been examples of times where I was pretty sure I was gone. I was going on a, I was hauling ass, I ride sport bikes, I was hauling ass on a two lane highway, well not a highway, but like a little back country road, in between Palaka and Gainesville, and a car pulled out in front of me, I said, oh shit buddy, this is it. But somehow, I managed to get, like around the car that was pulling out, and I mean, it was close. So what if I died? So, I mean big ass what if but what if I died 
Okay, and my consciousness shifted to a reality where I'm still alive. Wouldn't I be experiencing a Mandela effect? You know, I was, um, I was actually, my mother watches these videos and she doesn't know this. I was actually in a car accident. I was actually in a car accident and I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. And, uh, it all happened so damn fast. I mean, I'm just backstory on this. It, it all happened so fast, and um, it got it got pretty bright. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty dark. It was night, and it got really bright for a second. And um, my head, because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, and I went forward, my head went into the mirror. So what if I died then? You know what I'm saying? And my consciousness just found a reality, like. Because I don't know what stopped me from, like, going through, you know what I'm saying? So what if my consciousness just found a reality where I didn't die, you know what I'm saying? I just hit the mirror and called it a day. My neck could have been broken and shit like that. So, I don't know. Um, if I did die in a car accident or a motorcycle accident... I, that kind of that kind of says bullshit for the Mandela effect because I haven't seen anything different, and all these Mandela effect people are like, hey, uh, yeah, you know, you keep looking into it, you're gonna see differences, you're gonna see shit. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I haven't seen shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Did you see that? No, you didn't. But that said AT and T, and it had an and symbol. I don't remember that. I get people calling me ignorant and just stupid shit people I'm sorry I'm sorry if I come off as an asshole but all of these Mandela effects and anything like that can easily easily be explained and uh, okay, there's the work truck okay um there are people going, my my anatomy's changed. Really? How? How? Is your fucking penis on your fucking face? You fucking dick face? No. It's not. How has your anatomy changed? I want to hear it. Don't just go in the comment section and blink, my anatomy's changed. How? How has it changed? Because I'm going to be honest with you, it's probably the fucking same. People talking about their car colors have changed and shit like that. And I will never be able to convince you that it is bullshit, that it's bogus, that it's a money-making opportunity. The fucking woman that came up with it came up with it at a science convention. Or not a science convention. No, that makes sense. A sci-fi convention. And she's a paranormal book writer. And you people just blindly follow. The, you're not going to catch everything. You can look at something a hundred times and not see it. And uh, I made a video trying to kind of help people that believe the Mandela effect. I made a video trying to help people. And the same people that make these YouTube videos scaring the shit out of random people. Guess what? They're the ones in my comment section. Oh, this guy is a misinformant. He's a fucking dick face cock sucking asshole. I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Anyways, I'm gonna work on my own car. Because I have nothing else to do today. So I'm gonna pull my shit in. I'm going to work on my own car. I'm going to end this video here. Do, 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 do. I'm just going back in before I end the video. Do, 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 do. God, I hope I don't get a flat in one of my expensive ass tires. Or no. A flat would also suck. Anywho, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. 
Richie, I know you're going to watch this one, so go ahead and just dislike it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you see. If not, feel free to call me a dick face cock sucking informant. AI get to be awakened, motherfucker. Thanks for watching.